मूविंग ऑन इन रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट अब हम बात करेंगे हाईवेज की सो हाईवेज और अ स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ रोड इट्स इट्स लाइक इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट ओनली बट लेट्स लुक एट वाई इट्स स्पेशल एंड वाई इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट सो हाईवेज आर बेसिकली मेट्रो रोड कनेक्टिंग डिस्टेंट प्लेसेज दे आर मेन्ट फॉर अन ऑब्स्ट्रक्टेड वेहिकुलर मूवमेंट सो वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग्स अबाउट वाई हाईवेज आर बिल्ड एंड हाउ दे यू नो सर्व द कंट्री हाउ दे सर्व द रोड ट्रांसपोर्ट नेटवर्क इज दैट दीज आर मेटल रोड तो मेटल रोड होने का इम्प्लीकेशन क्या है कि दीज रोड आर दे कैन बी यूज इन ऑलमोस्ट ऑल सीजन राइट तो ऐसा नहीं है जो हमारे अनमेटल रोड होते हैं जो विलेज uh, साइड में मिलते हैं तो उन्हें वो रोड लेट्स से रेनी सीजन में या फ्लड्स uh, के टाइम पे uh, वो रोड एक्सेसिबल नहीं होते हैं राइट सो वी कैन नॉट रियली दे कैन नॉट रियली बी मच ट्रैफिक वाया दोज रोड बट दीज हाईवेज और मेटल सो सो दीज आर सर्विसबल ऑलमोस्ट ऑल राउंड द ईयर राइट सो दे एंड दे आर बिल्ड Uh, in such a way that they are able to uh, you know that they are able to carry a uh, traffic without any obstructions without any hindrances right so uh, to inka uh, you know purpose yahi hota hai ki ye unobstructed uh, vehicular movement ko promote kar sake right to isme travel karne ke liye koi obstructions na ho right so these are metal roads connecting distant places uh, okay oh so uh, another thing about highways is that uh, they connect uh, really far off places right so uh, you know they traverse uh, through areas which connect really distant uh, regions uh, also uh, they help in unobstructed vehicular movement and uh, for this purpose for uh, you know for uh, promoting unobstructed vehicular movement they are built uh in 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 this particular way they are 80 meters wide uh they have separate traffic lanes bridges flyovers and dual carriageways so these roads are purposely built in such a way that they are able to uh you know uh, you know serve the traffic in a way unobstructed manner and so these are the uh, important uh, things that uh, matter in in highways these are the uh, things that are involved in uh, the building up of highway so that's why that's why this these kind of roads are very important okay so uh, and they are they are much more uh, serviceable than uh, the unmetal roads that we have so that's all about highways the next type of roads that we're going to be looking at are border roads so border roads are uh, as the name suggests they are roads laid along international boundaries to so, jo international boundaries hote hain kisi bhi country ke unke aas paas ya unke around in and around jo roads build hote hain उनको बॉर्डर रोड्स कहते हैं और ये बॉर्डर रोड्स बहुत ही स्पेसिफिक पर्पसेस के लिए बनाए जाते हैं लेट्स लुक एट द रीजन वाई दीज रोड्स आर बिल्ड और लेट्स लुक एट द वे दैट दीज रोड सर्व द कंट्री सो द फर्स्ट रीजन इट प्रोवाइड्स डिफेंस इट हेल्प्स इन डिफेंस राइट सो देर आर रोड्स इन दी बॉर्डर रीजन सो द मिलिट्री कैन मूव मोर इजीली थ्रू दोज रीजन राइट सो इट हेल्प्स इन डिफेंस दैट द फर्स्ट you know that's the first way that border roads are important the second thing is uh, it helps in integrating people in remote areas with major cities to so, um aisa hota hai ki jo uh, you know border areas uh, jo hote hain jo border areas mein jo uh, jo jo log rehte hain uh, they are not always very well connected with uh, with, with with the uh, capital of the city with the major uh, areas right with with the more central locations of of the uh, place so because of these border roads now they have better connectivity so because uh, when they are uh, in the border area that that's like it bilkul ek side mein ho gaya right so it's like uh, border roads help in uh, you know integrating these two areas it helps in connecting uh, these two areas right so it helps in integrating uh, people in the border areas with uh the central parts of the region right so uh that's the second thing integrating people in remote areas with major cities uh the third uh, reason why border roads are important 
is uh, helps to transport goods to border villages and military camps. Okay, so that's another. Okay, so the first reason was that it helps in defense, right? The second reason was that it helps in integrating people, which talks about the demographics. And the third reason is that there, there's, it, it helps in transportation of goods, right? Goods that, uh, goods that need to be sent to the border villages or goods that might be needed by military camps. So, your transportation may be help karta hai. So, it, it, it helps in uh, integration of uh, people and it helps in transportation of freight as well. So, that's why border roads are important and that's why uh, we'll be studying this as a separate topic under roads. So, uh, apart from these, there's, uh, you know, there's uh, some very uh, specific examples of uh, uh, road networks all over the world. So, different world, so different countries which have world mein, uh, un, un mein jo zyada important road networks hai, uske examples diye hai book mein. So, uh, you know, that, that, that will be very helpful to learn. There's not much uh, understanding in those, but there's, it's just a lot of memorizing stuff. So, you might want to uh, memorize those uh, road networks and the areas that are connected by those road networks. They are just examples of road networks, right? So, uh, that's all that we have about the road networks. And so, we were land transportation. So, we studied the first topic of road networks. So, that was the first example of, that was the first form of uh, land transport. So again, under land transport, the second uh, form is that of railways, right? So now uh, we're done with roads and we're going to be talking about railways. So uh, uh, railways, first of all, start by taking why, uh, why railways came to, uh, you know, why railways uh, became a significant means of transport and it, what kind of transport it is that, it, that railways are best suited for. So uh, railways actually help in the transportation of bulky goods and passengers over long distances. This is something that if you remember, we have done this when we were uh, looking at the introduction of the chapter and we were looking at various modes of transportation. And that's when we discussed uh, the idea that uh, you know, uh, long distances may travel in long right? So uh, because uh, road transport is something that helps with short distances right one of its advantages is that it provides door to door services and but and it's also cheap but then what happens is uh, when you have to uh, traverse long distances when you have to travel for really long distances and uh, not only that it, if if people wanted to travel to long distances that's that's another story but suppose when you have to uh, you know transport large large volumes of goods over long distances that's not something that you can do very easily unless you have a railway network, right? 